While the Shanghai Auto Show gives people a chance to see lots of nice cars every two years, the internet is becoming another way to put people in the driver's seat. E-commerce giant Alibaba announced today that it will work with 40 auto companies to provide services online. While many car makers admit that for now the internet is more about advertising than it is about online sales, it's no surprise that it's the local brands that are most active online. Li Jiayi has more. A Tesla, a Mini Cooper, a Benz, or a Cadillac—they were all at this year's Shanghai Auto Show. But don't be surprised when you see them on China's e-commerce platforms too. Alibaba's Tmall alone has at least 59 auto brands' official flagship stores, offering to sell some 900 car models online. In 2014, sales revenue of auto-related products reached 40 billion yuan on Tmall and Taobao. The automakers have been quick to follow Chinese consumers' online shopping habits, even though they haven't yet decided just how to do it best. We know how quickly the, the, the China market is moving, particularly in the area of,、uh, of the digital landscape,、um, e-commerce. E- e- Um, and we, we very much want to embrace that. So we are、uh, developing a relationship with Tmall、um, to start to see how we can expand our offering to the China market through a platform, an, an e-commerce platform like that. That's part of the reason that most products these online stores offer are brand-related souvenirs, accessories, and car maintenance products. Only a handful of auto brands are really offering cars with clear prices displayed online. Most of the stores only provide bookings for driving trials at offline dealership stores. Car makers say that for the time being, the objective of their online platforms is to attract more people to offline dealers. We're looking at e-commerce as a as a great opportunity, really more for the the shopping piece of it, so they can understand,、uh, take a look,、uh, compare against other other makes. And then, but at the end, it's still coming into the dealership because it's not just about buying online. It's not a commodity. While the foreign auto brands seem to be only testing the waters of e-commerce, some Chinese automakers are bolder in making full use of the internet. Local auto brands tend to have a deeper relationship with their offline dealers, and so they can negotiate with them to offer more price cuts in their online promotions. BYD, for example, started its own online sales platform in 2013. Its sales made through the internet doubled to 12,000 units in 2014. The company says it rolled out several promotions last year, offering limited edition automobiles for sale only online. The pre-sale of our Qing and Town editions on the internet was very good. We sold out 100 units of the Town in five minutes in the pre-sale. And that happened at five o'clock in the morning, and we provide a special made cars to online customers, cars that are different from ones in our offline shops. Some of them were tailor made to meet customers' needs. BYD hopes its online sales will continue to double this year. However, none of the auto brands have successfully transferred the entire car sales process online. Consumers have to go to offline showrooms at some point to finish the deal. One auto expert expects a major impact of the new e-commerce platforms will be to increase price transparency in the auto market. The dealership is the reason for opaque pricing in the market. Dealers have commission fees and have to compete with each other, so the prices at different showrooms are not the same. But the online platforms will eventually take away all that. Pan says that the e-commerce business will lead the auto showrooms to shift their current focus from sales targets to better after-sales service, something that's already happening in the auto sales business in general. More than 1,000 of China's dealer-run 4S repair and maintenance garages, 5% of the total, are now making their bookings online. Mi Jiayi, Shanghai Live.